video has been sponsored by King Maps 5 Guard and Just Scripts. Check their website in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are good. So today in this video, we are going to install an advanced inventory script for our 5M servers. And this script works with our highly used frameworks, Cubico, QBX and ESX as well. So it comes with lots of features like weapon throw, the inventory UI color, you will get an integrated pose menu as well with this script. You will get to see level system as well integrated with this inventory script. So you don't need to install any other script for this type of like scripts like pose menu, weapon throw and you will get a lots of functions as well. So we are going to try all of them. So first we need to download it from the given link in the description box. So right here we have our script from Kaza and this one is our inventory, advanced inventory and this one also getting an update very soon. So you will get to see it in a few days. For all the scripts from Kaza website you buy, you will get an 10% extra discount for using our discount code. I will mention it in the description box as well, MJDEV for get an extra 10% discount. So you can use it with all of our scripts from Kaza and after that you will get to see this on your key master and from there we need to simply just download it first after downloading we need to simply just open this file and then we have to copy this and extract this to our resources right here Okay, so now we have to open this and you will get to see three files right here. One is our SQL and these are two main scripts. So first we will ensure our SQL file. So let's open it and we need to run this SQL and that's it. Now you can close it and this one is for ESX framework. So if you are using ESX, you need to run this. So now we can close and delete this SQL folder our inventory and advanced soaps so we have to go back and go to QB and we need to delete our QB inventory and QB soaps so if you are using any scripts integrate with your default or like any other inventory scripts so you need to take a backup of it like like your script icons or any data which you have with your old inventory so I'll suggest to take an backup and then we can simply just delete these both files QB inventory and QB soap. So let me just take a backup of both of these files. And now we can simply just delete them. And now we have to go back and ensure this in our server.csv file. So I'll just ensure it right here. And that's it. Now we have to go back and we have to go back to the link and here you will get to see this documentation. So we have to go there and search for advanced inventory. Go to installation and let's go. So if you have OXLib and OXMySQL already, so you don't need to download both of these files. And the third one is Muxort. So let me just check. Do we have OXLib? Yeah. So we have OXLib and OXMySQL. If you don't have, you need to download both of these files. Otherwise, the third one is Mugsort. So, so we will just download and install this. So copy it and we will add it right here. And we have to open this folder and drag this main file outside. Now we can close and delete this folder. And that's it. So this one is done. Now we can close this folder. Cut it. And let's check. So if you are using Windows and Linux artifacts, so make sure they are updated. So if you are using updated artifacts, you can simply just update it from here. Just download and install it. Now we have to scroll down. And the SQL we already run. We have cubicle framework. Okay, so now we have to add these items. So let's open it. So you will get to see the cubicle default item list. So the inventory is using like this type of template theme. So we need to copy these items. 
and we need to add it and we can say replace with our cubicore shared and item store lua file right here we need to simply just copy all of it and delete and paste the new one right here so this one is a new item list as you can see right here this one works with the new advanced inventory script from kaza so we need to use that now we have to go back and let's see what's the next step we have to do so the next one is for clothing so if you are using esx you don't need to manually add the clothing but if you are using cubicore you need to add so here are some default clothing items you can use so we will try this let me just copy so we will add this in our item list right here as well and that's it now we have to go back and okay then we have some more options like clear player inventory while dying and so these options we will check in the config file so now we have to come to our advanced inventory script go to config config.lua and we need to scroll down and the first one is for our language so you can choose so you will get to see by default language options so you can use according to according to your server language what you are using then we have fetch old inventory so if you wanna like migrate the old inventory with the new one you can simply just make it true otherwise leave it false then we have the target system so if you wanna use target make it true otherwise you can make it false as well it's up to you then this thing is for us pose menu that i told you in the starting this script comes with the integrated pose menu as well so right here you have to enter your server name so we will add just mjv2 rp and the second thing is for weapon throw that i told you as well so this is the keybind e to throw weapons or items give item hide name so this one is for like if you are giving someone any item so it will hide their name like the item name so i'll suggest to make it false then we have the open progress bar so if you want to use an open progress bar while like when you try to open the inventory so you can make it true otherwise make it false we have enable sounds enable enable throw true and so enable steal dead player true steal without weapons is false you can't steal anyone without you have weapon then we have some inventory weight and slots drop weight so these are the basic things you can check and change according to your server preference then we have some more items like this okay so you can check out and check all these things one by one as well so let's go and check out this in game so we have to simply just restart our server once then we can get to see our new inventory script so let's restart and join the server back okay so we are in the server back now we have to go to the last location and here we go so let's try it out our new inventory so here you can see the play information inventory quick slot ground wallet amount right there so first we will check out the information so this is what i am talking about the pose menu mjv to rp the pose menu script you will get to see your play information we have level one job play time bank cash you will get to see all of the information you will get to see and discord youtube so you can add your own discord and youtube links right here you can add your server announcement right there then we have the time players map then we have the settings you can easily access these settings as well in the inventory section then we have the inventory we have the clothing system so as you can see how it works properly we have t-shirt torso hands shoes jeans so as you can see everything is completely working so let me just put it back okay so we are ready to go so this is how you can use this clothing as an item as well in your server then we have the skill system so this is the xp and the skill system you'll get then we have some missions data 
so when you complete this you will get to see your level up when i show you in the information we have the level one and let's see what level we have right now so right now we got level three so this is how you can complete your levels and increase you have some like missions to do right there you can complete and you will get to see this type of 500 1200 xp to increase your level and you can check out it in the information section then we have the settings to change our ui color so we can so we can simply just change the color from here so as you can see our theme color is completely changed you can change the opacity as well from here you can make it high low it's up to you we have border color that you can simply just change whatever border color you are using and when i use as you can see how this works then we have border radius you can increase or like decrease it from here then we have text color we can also change it as you can see so this is how you can change your own color i change it according to my logo color as you can see cyan aqua and you can reset it as well and it will reset its theme and come to default mode okay so let's drop something on the ground so this is how you can like simply just drop the items and as you can see right there you will get to see this type of probe and you can simply just open your inventory again and you can get these items back from the drop section or the ground section then we have wallet area as well you can like hide your personal things right there okay so we have this wallet area you can change the amount let's use the weapon so as you can see how quickly we got the weapon as you can see we have got fast reflex so you take out our weapons as well and if you press e it will throw the weapon as you can see and when you come closer you can simply just press e again to pick up this item so let's use the weapon again so as you can see this is how you can throw these items so this is how you can throw your weapons and items like this so i hope you guys like this advanced inventory script you will get a uh, lots of function integrated with this inventory script so you don't need to install lots of script you will get all of these in a single script so yeah definitely i'll suggest you to install and use this inventory script so if you have any other doubt regarding this script or any other script you can let me know in the comment box so till then we will meet you in the next video take care have a good day